Welcome back. So once you've created your rooms, you might want to start adding windows and skylights. Um, there are two ways that you can add windows. So if you don't have surfaces drawn like I do already, you can add by window to wall ratio. So there is a command PO underscore add aperture by window to wall ratio. Or you can go to the pollination panel and when you click on new aperture, you can say by window to wall ratio instead of from surfaces. Since we already have the surfaces um, drawn, I'm going to select from surfaces. And the first thing you want to do is you want to select the rooms that the windows belong to. So let's go to our layers and I'm going to select objects, um, sub layer objects. So all of our rooms are selected, then you're going to hit enter. And then you want to select the planar surfaces for creating the windows. So here you can assign a property for the windows. But for now, let's just leave it at the default. Um, and I'm going to now select all of my objects. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And once that's done, it will automatically add windows. So now you'll see when you select a room, the windows get selected with it, if you can see that. Now, if we go back to the pollination tab, you can use the room selection on and off to select a room or an object within that room. So if you want to select that aperture or that aperture or any one of the, you can select by that you have to turn room selection on and off in order to just select by room. This just makes selecting things in Rhino, um, Rhino much easier so you're not um, struggling to find the surface and you're ensuring that everything gets chose, um, selected together. And you can see also that the skylights were recognized automatically within the roof. If you want to change properties for anything, you would basically, and actually, so if we go to the pollination tab, you can see that the faces are shown, and then you have the bottom, top, and walls. There should be windows showing up here. Aha! So it is, there should be one for this window that shows up here. But for now, let's focus on the windows. So if you select a room, so we're looking at this room, and on this face, this window. And every time you select it, it automatically highlights here. And the reverse happens when you're in the selection mode. So once you select something, you can see where it is. And if you need to rename it, you can go ahead and double click on it and rename it like this is my south facing test window. And if it's operable, you can change the settings there. You can assign constructions here, or um, you can override the global setting, whichever the default is for your model. Okay, and in the ventilation tab, if you have control, you can start adding controls to the windows. So, okay, so that's how you add windows.